Opposition groups in Bahrain have called on the government to allow a major demonstration calling for greater freedoms, which is planned for next month. The Gulf state's been seeing violence for more than two years now, with thousands of anti-regime protesters clashing with police on a daily basis. Let's now go to Saeed al-Shihabi, London-based activist from the Bahrain Freedom Movement. Um, Mr. al-Shihabi, welcome to RT. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here. So the opposition is getting ready for a large gathering in August. So why are your rulers still threatening protesters with force uh, when clearly it's not been working? Thank you very much. Uh, force is the order of the day, and it is the only weapon that has be, uh, been left in the possession of the regime, which is supported by the United States, of course, and the Britain. Uh, this is in addition to the Saudi forces which are occupying the country. Why are they fo uh, fo facing the people with weapons? Uh, simply because they do not have the ability to uh, recognize the rights of the people. They, they, as a hereditary dictatorship, they cannot accept the fact that Bahrain could become a democracy. They would not allow people to choose the, their own rulers, their own representatives, their own uh, democratic institutions. So the only way to counter these calls is by the use of force, as we have seen yesterday. Uh, only uh, one uh, man, Saeed al marzouk died because of uh, excessive inhalation of chemical gases used by the regime. So the use of force has become the only tool in the possession of the regime to deal with the uh, growing popular sentiments and opposition to this dictatorship. Mm. Uh, Bahrain is sometimes said to be a nation where the Arab Spring never came to fruition. And uh, now with Egypt's Arab Spring leader toppled and the whole situation in Egypt, are you still willing to push the ideals you adhere to? The problem is that you don't have much alternative. Uh, you, on this program, several times I was asked why the Bahrain Revolution has not uh, brought fruition. And I have always said that, unfortunately, all the Arab revolutions have been stalled, have been hijacked, have been contained by the counter-revolution forces represented by the Western countries and Saudi Arabia. Now, uh, what uh, the, the, the Egypt has become one of the first outrageous example where the counter-revolution has taken root. Now, for the Bahrainis, they don't have a choice. They cannot just keep quiet when they see their women being raped, being stripped, stripped naked in, in jail as one of them uh, openly uh, confessed uh, or, uh, or testified in front of the court last week. Uh, we, they cannot stay silent when they see uh, hundreds uh, of them being sacked from their jobs, when there are thousands of people behind bars, when torture remains in force, uh, when foreign troops remain on their lands. So I don't think it is an alternative to keep quiet. Silence is simply not a choice. You, on, you have to speak up and you have to uh, change the situation. Yeah, and also Bahrain's top uh, imprisoned activist Nabil Rajab said last month uh, his spirit is strong and uh, that he'll continue fighting for basic freedoms there. How much of a thorn uh, is his civil stance for the authorities from your point of view? Well, it is now exactly a year since Nabil Rajab had been taken in custody, tortured, humiliated, abused, attacked. Uh, and also Zainab Khawaja and other human rights activists. Of course, this regime would not tolerate uh, human rights activists because they simply would expose the uh, brutality of the regime. In fact, the uh, Al Khalifa regime has recently banned the visit by the uh, UN Special Rapporteur on torture. Because if he went there, he would again establish the use of systematic torture in the same way as uh, Sharif Bissouni did two years ago. So I, the, the regime would not tolerate people like Nabil Rajab, who stood for uh, or stand and still stands for freedom, for freedom of expression, for human rights respect, and also for democratic rights. So this is why he and his colleagues are being detained behind bars, subjected to most horrific the treatment of torture and uh, abuse. And I believe that the stance of these heroic figures 
uh, are is going to make a change. Today, I only I was reading an article about how the CIA had uh, a role in abducting uh, Nelson Mandela back in 1962. So unfortunately, these forces that are promoting democracy and the human rights in the West are not doing so when it comes to, this, to the Gulf region, to the GCC countries, and especially in Bahrain. I hope this changes. Otherwise, the whole uh, region will remain unstable and uh, when uh, it is being ruled by dictator, dictatorship and despotic regimes. All right. Uh, London-based activists from Bahrain Freedom Movement, Saeed uh, Al-Shuhabe. Uh, Mr. Al-Shuhabe, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.